Alright, so Multiverses has just come out, and I've been having a load of fun on this game, I can't lie to you guys. But one thing you may notice when spotting up the game for the first time is if you head over to your fighters, you've got like no characters there whatsoever. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly unlock some characters, get all your character points right up so you don't have to waste any money on them. Because if I see any of you buying characters with real money, I will be having a stern talking to you. I'm not joking. I will be very upset. As well as not having to play like the same four characters over and over again, like Shaggy, I love you, but I don't want to play with you for the 50th time. So for the first tip I got for leveling up your characters, it's pretty easy, it's just completing all your missions, like your weekly missions, your dailies, they're pretty easy just to crack out, as well as like the training stuff, you'll be able to just smash through these, pick up all load of points and just easily get your characters unlocked that way. As well as going through the agent's character rift, here you'll unlock like 3000 uh, fighter currency, allowing you to pretty much buy any character you want, excluding the joker, but it allows you to rack up some points really nicely, as well as just getting some in-game currency and some pretty cool uh, little skins. And then the last tip then is just to play every character you've already got. I'm pretty sure when you unlock the game for the first time, you get Shaggy, you'll have Finn, LeBron on a timer and Wonder Woman. So that's a few characters you got there. I would personally work through your timer ones and level them up all to level five. See at level five, you get an extra 100 fighter mastery credits. I'm pretty sure it's every five levels. Yeah, you'll get like some fighter credits. So that way then you can build it up nicely in order to buy the fighters you want. And then just to get some extra fighter credit then, play in a party because after every game, you could toast each other in order to get some fighter credits so i'd be playing 2v2s with a teammate i would right now and every time we finish the game i'd be making sure i toast him in order that we both get some fighter credit but that's pretty much all my tips at the moment guys make sure you just smash it out i know it's a bit of a grind but once you get it it's so rewarding i'm currently grinding towards joker i'm about a thousand off right now so hopefully i'll be able to get towards that but i want to know how you guys are finding the game let me know what your thoughts are personally i don't mind it the game seems a little slower but it feels quite nice it seems like there's a little bit more of a skill gap here uh, i know on xbox it is so horrific to play i've had to switch over to pc but it's not too bad over on pc anyway we're gonna leave the video here hope you all did enjoy do make sure you leave a like comment subscribe i'll see you all in the next one in a bit